When it comes to track and field at Waynesfield Goshen, one name stands out, Horn. The track is named after Hall of Fame coach Grandpa Joe Horn, and two of his grandsons find themselves on 44's Top 44 Male Athletes Countdown. <laughs> Waynesfield Goshen class of 2008 track and field. Four times state champion, indoor pole vault, outdoor pole vault, long jump and 4x200 relay. 11 times all Ohio, 16 times state qualifier, three times NWCC track and field MVP, also all Ohio in football. And I think a lot of people didn't realize how much Gray worked at it too because I know when he had his mind set on something, he wanted to be the best. And not only just pole vault hurdles, you know, he went off and became a decathlete and was able to run 1,500 meters in a good time, which who would have thought, if you told me back in, when he was a junior, Gray would be running 1,500 meters, you know, the times he did, I, I wouldn't have believed it. But, you know, for him, he was such a natural athlete that I don't think you're going to see too many kids with those attributes perform at that level around here. You know, hopefully we'll see those kids again, but that's, that's a rarity. Talking to Gray Horn in high school, and you weren't sure if he was from Waynesfield or from California. Kind of that surfer dude attitude that was a very good athlete, you know, worked hard. But, but just, you know, you weren't sure. Was, are you really from Ohio, Gray? But he worked so hard and he was so gifted. Well, I'll tell you what struck me about Gray Horn was how calm he was. Sure, he was emotional. We all are to some degree when we're competing in a physical events like track and field, but he just seemed to always have such an understanding of the various events that he was in, and he was able to apply the need for the event to what his body and his mind could collectively do. Anybody that's that good in multiple events always impresses me, and, and Gray Horn, statistically certainly, may be the best athlete in the history of the whole area. I don't think it surprised me so much after I saw what he did his last year in, in high school and, and watching how big he was compared to most of the kids. Because down at the state meet, when you watch him line up for the hurdles, you know, he was big. He didn't look like a hurdle. He was a big, long kid and, and a great pole vaulter. And he thought, this, this kid probably could do about every event he wants to do if he put his mind to it. So Gray was one of those rare athletes that put size, strength, and speed together, which you normally don't see those combinations at that level. You can just tell that he, he had a lot more um, events he could do besides what he was doing. So as time went on, I mean, I, when he said he was going to go to Florida and be a decathlete, I thought that's a great, that's a great fit for him. Grayhorn was a special athlete, but to think Waynesville Goshen High School and to go on to uh, be a star at the University of Florida, that was still a stretch to many people wondering if that could actually be accomplished. And then uh, his accomplishments there at the University of Florida and then uh, in participating in the Pan Am Games and uh, later to see Gray now take it to another level as far as coaching and uh, a great young man. As I talk to high school coaches, the, the, I hear, oh, this athlete's being recruited by Tiffin. I say, is it Gray Horn? And they say, oh yeah, he's doing a great job really just to care about our kids, to pursue them, but he wants to take them to the next level. He has such a passion for making students better, better people, better athletes, and he's going to do a great job for years to come on the coaching circuit for track and field. After high school, went on to win five SEC championships, including the decathlon at Florida, won the bronze medal at the 2012 U.S. Olympic Trials in the decathlon. Gray Horn, number seven on 44's Top 44 Male Athletes. Gray Horn is currently an assistant coach at Tiffin and helped lead the Dragons to an NCAA Division II indoor national title, as well as runner-up finish in the D2 Outdoor Championships this past year.